Welcome, Welcome Cornerstone, Cornerstone families. families! We are so pumped to have you joining us online today. In today's video, we're going to have a time of worship as well as a Bible story for you guys to watch. And afterwards, you can check out our Cornerstone Kids Facebook page to find the parent guides for today's lesson. Make sure you gather as a family and go through those activities and questions together. Yeah, now let's hop into worship. we'll give to our friends at the party. They'll each get an angel ornament to remind them how an angel came and told Mary the big news she was going to have God's son. And they'll each get a cow to remind them how Jesus was born in a stable near animals. And sheep stickers to remind them how the shepherds ran to meet the best gift ever, Jesus. Who? Who? It's Ellie. Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? Are those gift bags in front of you? Hi, Ollie. They sure are. There's just one more thing to put inside. A star. I know a story about a star. And three wise men who traveled so far. 
Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. <laughs> oh, Merry Christmas, friends. I'm just in the mailman. I'm just on my way to celebrate with my neighbors. Christmas is a very special day because we're celebrating someone very special. Does anyone remember who we celebrate on Christmas? Yes, Jesus. Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. Now, there's one more part of the true story of Christmas you've got to know. Let me just put our story mail in the mailbox and... Okay, so this part of the true story of Christmas happened after Jesus was born. After Jesus was born, God put something in the sky. Did God put a teddy bear in the sky? No, that isn't right. God put a popsicle in the sky? No, God put a star in the sky. Yes, a star. Can you make a twinkly star with your hand like this? Great job. Far, far away, there were some wise men who saw it. Can you make your hand like a telescope and look at the star high in the sky? Okay, you can put your telescopes away now. They knew the star meant something special. God put the star there because God's son, Jesus, was born. They were so excited. We've got to follow it, they said. We must go and find God's son. They followed the star and probably rode on an animal. What animal would be able to walk through the desert with lots and lots of sand? Let's see. Camels! The wise men got on the camels and set out to follow the star. Finally, the star led them to Jesus. When the wise men saw Jesus, they bowed down and worshiped him. They gave him presents because they knew Jesus was very special. And we know Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. We can remember how special Jesus is every day. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Merry Christmas. So there's your story, and it's all true. The wise men worship Jesus, and we can too. Thanks, Sally. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, the wise men followed a star and celebrated Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I'm going to finish these party favors. But first, let's sing happy birthday to celebrate Jesus and his birthday. Happy birthday. 